Welcome to Four Seas One Family. 欢迎收看赛一家。My name is James. 我是吉明。This is going to be a rather long episode. After recording this episode, I found that it became very touching to me, and I hope that after you watch this episode, that you can actually take the time to rethink what important values we all share. This episode will show an example of no matter. Where we come from, the way we look, the language we speak, and the politics we hold, we still can create miracles. Please subscribe and click on the bell below, and help me prove that we really do have a lot more in common than we think. I'm in my second adopted home here, called Tainan, and I'm in a part of Tainan, a place called、uh, Xining District. And I have、uh, two special、uh, guests right now. And、uh, if you are watching me of my, of my、uh, previous live episodes, you'll see Davy there smiling like like his face is is is, is, is you know is caught in some kind of. With some kind of rheumatism in his face, smiling so so hard, and、um, very unique guy met in Taipei. And、uh, actually, I met him. Actually, I, I found a video of him speaking in the local dia- Taiwanese dialect. And I said, and I said, who's this guy? Wait a minute, this guy's black, <laughs> and he's speaking Taiwanese. I was like, hey, I gotta get to know this guy. 大家好，我是。何中庭，英语的名是叫 Davy， 即马名是何中庭，啊，但是我是有改过，较早的名是叫何中庭，我的较早的朋友拢叫我阿平，啊，但是有的朋友是叫我阿庭，拢会使，啊，有的人是我的英语的名，别人讲。别人讲 Davy， 所以拢叫我 Davy， 还是大卫，拢会使。I had to know about his background, because this guy, he's special, but he probably doesn't even know it. Now, the person you see to my left is a very strong woman. She told me before we got. You know, on the recording that you know she didn't do a lot of, she didn't study a lot of、uh, in school, five years of education. But she's street smart, and I'm really glad that I have a chance to talk to this lady who's sitting on my left side, who is Davy's mom. That's right. So, and、uh, there's some things I blamed on his mom. <laughs> We're gonna talk about that in a few minutes. <laughs> But Susie, yeah, thank you. For allowing me to come down here to Tainan and talk to you, because there's a lot of things I want to talk to you about. Okay. Right.、Mm-hmm. And of course, I know you don't like to talk. <laughs> oh, I talk a lot. You see? <laughs> I did not say that. <clears throat> Now we're gonna be speaking this episode mainly in English, and maybe it'll be some Mandarin here. If there's any Mandarin, I'll translate it in the, bo- in the bottom. But I want to hear your story. Okay. Okay. This is so easy to interview. This is okay, and you know, you're in a unique situation, and this is how I met your son. You know, he's speaking Taiwanese, black. I was like, wait a minute. Maybe we have something in common. Maybe we don't. Now, can you tell me a little background story and how you ended up with this guy? <laughs> Over there, and don't say you found them in Seven Eleven, and would be able to have given a discount. <laughs> get buy one, get one free. You know, how did you end up with this guy? Well, he's a younger son. Then、uh, I guess so. I'm baby boy. Huh? Ma Bao. He's Ma Bao. He's a pin him.、Yeah. I don't know. This guy got too many muscles to be like. A... <laughs> yeah, and I'm worried about all my kid, and he's、mm-hmm. a younger one because he kind of too nice. Too soft. Too soft. Yeah. He said. What? The way I 
might see it, but other right. people probably they think he's mean. Hmm. Well, just back up a little bit. How did this guy come to be? How did he end up in this world? Well, uh, he's supposed to be the girl. Like, Oops. <laughs> yeah, that was that, yeah. That's my third wife. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And I didn't know. I want a girl. Mm -hmm. God only gave it to me, so give me me boy. I said, okay, as long as he's healthy, that's fine. I am a girl. <laughs> oh, <I'm so> <laughs> no, he's not a girl. Don't listen to him. <laughs> Bad sense of humor. Yeah. <laughs> so, how did how did you meet his dad? How did that come? Oh, that one's no story. <laughs> well, give me a give me us the brief version of it because I think it'll be interesting. Well, oh, beginning. Beginning. Uh-oh. Why do you want to say like it's going to be very long? Beginning. Yeah, beginning, beginning, yeah. I was uh, 17 years old. 17 years yeah. old? Yeah, and I went to uh, this, all the barbers and cut American people here. Yeah, so the, the U.S. military was yeah, here. Yeah, in Thailand. Mm, Thailand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's how we meet. Really? Yeah. Um, but I, don't, I didn't know I'm going to marry a black guy. You didn't know we were going to marry a black guy? <laughs> Oops, she tripped! <laughs> Oops, oh, <laughs> Tell me about that. <clears throat> He's a good looking guy and handsome, but I fought for him because in my hometown, Xinye, mm -hmm. and uh, that time I was poor family kid, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so I want something good for myself, so I try to do good, go find a job, mm -hmm. and become barber. Really? A barber? Yeah. But, but okay, so you, you worked on a military, U.S. military base down yeah, here? Yeah, long time ago. That's oh, no, not that long ago. <laughs> okay, a couple of years ago. Okay. <laughs> so, I mean, you, you met his dad, and how did you learn how to speak English? Well, they're all men, American, in a, in a base, mm -hmm. cutting hair. Mm -hmm. So that's how I learned, because I didn't know any English at all. You didn't learn English in school? Mm -hmm. Because I'm in fifth grade school. Fifth, Seventeen years old. Guo Xiao. Guo Xiao. Uh-huh. But, but how, well, I mean, you did like, did, did you have to like, because you were cutting hair, you only, you only knew cut hair English or what? Um, because I don't like school, so my grandmother said, you young, you mm -hmm. must have better life, you better go learn scale. Right, learn the scale. So I learned scale, she said, go to Bible school. You know, uh -huh. school. And that time I don't like Bible school because Taiwanese people say, hey, you have good family, son, don't want to marry a barber. Oh, goodness. Okay. <laughs> That's another one. Okay. Yeah. Well, sorry, sorry, you can't help me out. <laughs> I cut your own hair. My hair used to be like Bao Zhan Tou, you know. Oh, yeah. The yeah. big afro, but. Yeah. Mm. That's it. So, so, Grandma told me to learn. Really? Yeah. I was only 14 years old. And, and beautiful. No, it's like a no, country beautiful. girl. C beautiful country girl. Because <laughs> yeah. I see the, I see pictures of you here. Yeah. This is beautiful. Yeah, don't no that I'm, I'm not telling you no. Pa my That one pictures my too. I was learning how to cut hair. Okay, but I'm not you know pa my. I'm telling you, mm -hmm. you're a beautiful woman. Oh, thank you. How how did your family oh, feel I, about that? A black guy, because own. because you know. Certain image that black people have in the media can be quite bad sometimes, especially in in an Asian community and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, my mm. dad say, if you want to marry a black guy, no matter what happened to you, like, don't come back home. Don't come back home. Whoa! Yeah. So he disowned you? Yeah. Really? I was only seventeen and a half. And how did you take that? I said, oh well, I want to have better life, so I married Megan. Good choice. <laughs> <laughs> Can I say you have guts? Yeah. Yeah, I got guts. And where does that come from? I guess I come from poor family and be strong girl. <laughs> Is that simple? No, it's not simple. It's and of course it's not that simple. It's not easy. Uh, what about Agong? Does it come from one of them? Or? Yeah, Agong. Yeah. I think my mother probably. Uh, really? Yeah. yeah. My, my dad, that time my age, they don't care about girl. Oh, yes, that's right. You oh need to have boy. a heart of a boy, yeah. yeah. Oh boy, go. Yeah, yeah just yeah. sell them, right? Yeah. You know. But luckily, I didn't got sold out. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, hey, just face it. I mean, yeah. you know, there's places where you know you actually you sell them. Yeah. And you know, you end up with this guy. You say he's soft, but he's a good guy. Mm -hmm. 
you know, because, you know, especially in, in Asian families, you know, the, the, the father's out in the front with the good, you know, symbol, you know, doing working hard, but the core of the family a lot. I mean, we, I know in Asia you pass on the father's name. Yeah. You know, but it's the it's the it's the turtle that holds up the sky. You know, the turtle may be moving slowly, but they have a firm step. Mm -hmm. They carry the load on top of their shell, and they have a shell because they keep so much inside of them. Was he born here or in the states? Mm -hmm. oh. This dude. Mm. Oh, it's San Diego. So. How long you stayed in Taiwan after you you you, you met him your his, oh, his father and, and you went to the states like how long was that? Year and a half. That's that's fast. Yeah. Then he came into San Francisco. Uh huh. Transferred to San Francisco. How do you like San Francisco? I hate it. Oh, yeah. no, well, no, San Francisco. <laughs> really? What do you hate about San Francisco? Too cold. Too cold. Too cold. Yeah. Because San Francisco is cold. And the time you go to the downtown. Uh huh. You're freezing to death. I don't know what's freezing to you. Because but, Taiwan is very nice in hot weather, right? Oh yeah, that, yeah. 40, 40, 40, 40 degrees Celsius. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, especially yeah. now. Maybe they, didn't, maybe they didn't have, baby, maybe they didn't have global warming back then. No, no yeah, they probably didn't. <laughs> then high building uh -huh. and cover all the sun, so uh -huh. it's chilly. You were scared. Yeah, I was scared. That was it. Yeah. And also, it's funny, I don't read Chinese. That you, much. You didn't read Chinese that much? No. What do you mean? Fifth year of school. Not, Fifth grade? Not a whole lot. Mm. So but they got a lot of Hong, Hong Kong people. Yeah. So no. their language is different. Yes, yeah, because they speak Hong Kong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so when you got to the States, what was the hardest thing for you to get used to, to adapt to? Well, like, I mean, this guy is my choice, so I better look at <laughs> It's my choice. Yeah, I. I learn everything poor and rich. What do you mean? Because my mother, you know, mm -hmm. they're very poor. Mm -hmm. Then I thought my family poor in Taiwan, but they're not. Right. I don't go there, I was shocked. You were shocked because you thought America made God in a beautiful country. It's yeah, not and as beautiful as you used to be. Women so over here, Air Force women, mm -hmm. dress up, good shoes, good. Purse, good dress. Right. You go there, you see that. Who know that big and cargo is that big? Whoa. And you, you sit in a bed, you sink. Got big hole. <laughs> go <to> sink. <laughs> yeah, the ghetto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it's, that was shocking, right? I mean, yeah, this is not what you see in the movies no, and, and I said, what oh, you see on the U.S. bases. You know the housing in the bottom? They all the bottom, rot. Mm -hmm. rot it, rotten. Said, no, no, not rotten. Uh, drunk. Yeah, it's all messy, right? Messy, and you just pile on top yeah, of each other. I, when you walk in the, in the middle line, you <coughs> hear the go up. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. No. Oh. The bottom is, what is it called? Don't, don't listen to him. You don't yeah, know what yeah, you're talking yeah, about. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm there, so it's kind of scary. Yeah. So, you get used to there. No, I only did there one month. Then I gotta go to San Francisco with my husband. Oh, you mean okay? That's my mother in the house. In and what, what was that? Arkansas. Oh, it was Arkansas. Okay, okay, okay. Arkansas. Arkansas. Yeah. So you you went back to so he got stationed went back to San Diego. Yeah. And uh, he was born in San Diego. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. All right. Now, now you know. Back in Taiwan, I mean. That passed away uh, about a year and a half ago. Year and a half ago. And he was a strong man. Yeah. He was a bookworm. You said it. Yeah. Yeah, but he does. He's not affectionate. Well, military man. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. I'm telling you this. I say you, you do. do. What you <clears throat> okay, but this is interesting. Did your Did your dad raise you a pretty, you know, like tough? This is it. You know, stand up. Let me see this, this, and that. Was it kind of tough? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was pretty tough to me. But, because I was, I think maybe because my brothers weren't, they're older than me, so. Okay, was, there's two. There's two oh, older. Right. So, I, yeah, I'm the baby. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> muscle bound baby. Yeah. But he was tough on you. Yeah. And what, in a particular way, you know, was he like the stereotypical military father or what? Mm, I don't know. Maybe. Military father? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, yeah. 
There's no other way to explain it. <laughs> because, I mean, he's been in it for like 30 years, so yeah, that's all he knew. But at that time, how did you think about it? Like, why is this guy flipping on me all the time? Or why can't... What, I didn't start thinking weird things until probably high school. Yeah, that's when... Yeah, that's it's when I had, had my own friends and yeah. tried to do my own things. Oh, that's when you became conscious. <laughs> yeah, I thought I was a big person, an adult, but really I wasn't. But I noticed you were doing this, yeah. and you said, wow, but really I wasn't. That's, that's a side of maturity, but really I wasn't. Mm -hmm. Tell me, how did it feel then to be, was, was the community you were living in, what was the demographics of the, of the, uh, the community? Oh, the... Military? Or, you know. It was military, but like, Okay, so the area we lived at, that, that used to be like military housing. Mm -hmm. But after, a, I don't know when, it just started changing. Changing in what way? Mm, I want to say, it's like, it, well, let's just, okay, point blank, it's the ghetto. Okay. Yeah. It's not the slums, but it's the ghetto. Hmm. That's like, it, it's almost like the front line, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where things happen. Yeah, a lot of things. So... How did that environment influence you? Oh, uh, yeah, that's where I decided to take my own path and just look at my parents and just want to do my own things. And they were too, not pushy, but... Um, demanding? Yeah, and then demanding, and then I was like trying to push it away. Uh-huh. I was pushy, they were demanding, yeah. Yeah, the way I understand it is... Your dad was military demanding. Mm. Mom was more like do the right thing demanding. Mm. Right? Mm. Yeah. How did you feel different because, say, you're half black, half Taiwanese? Did you did you have any barriers to go with through that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course I did. Um, I so I would hang around with certain people, and then I would think I was part of their uh, ethnicity or background or family. You or know? clique or whatever. Yeah. Like let's say for example like. One, there was times where I wanted to be Mexican. Oh, yeah. interesting. There was times where I wanted to be Filipino. Huh. There were times where I wanted to be like Laotian or something. Yeah, so it was just trying to find myself. Wow. I was lost. Did you speak, what, did you always, have you always spoke English. Mandarin to him, English what? No, Talk just English. Just English? She yeah, tried te teaching me. My husband said, you can't even speak English. Why you want to teach your kid Chinese? Oh my goodness. I should yeah. smack him. Oh my goodness. Oh. Yeah. Huh. She tried teaching though. Interesting. And he said, Mom, it's hard. I don't want to learn how to speak Chinese. I'm not going uh -huh. to use it anyways. Yeah, yeah at that time. He, he didn't know you're going to come here. Yeah. He didn't know, but we're going to get into that later because that, <laughs> that's going to be fun. Mm. So, I mean, so in the States, you mainly spoke English with your mom. Mm -hmm. uh, did you uh, did you come across any Taiwanese people in the Taiwanese community while you were in San Francisco? Uh, in San Diego? Yeah, uh, San Diego, sorry. Well, you can, but that's like that's like Beverly Hills area. Oh, you, you don't go up there. I understand. Yeah, yeah. Understand. We're down there, yeah. Most, cause most of those immigrate over there, they, you know, they have the financial backing or whatever like that. Yeah. But, but it's we, interesting. We stick out. <laughs> oh, we stick out. <laughs> wow. So, you know, the, the heart of this conversation also is what are you doing back here? Why did oh, you bring him back here? Because I tried to save his life. You tried to save his life? Yeah. Well, she did. Only with well, it's not tried, right. <laughs> she did. I pushed him. Was he getting in trouble? How much trouble were you getting into, David? Uh, don't, don't say too much because, you know, this may yeah. get recorded and, you know, come back 10 years from now. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I was, stay out. I was open-minded and try to be... Somebody he don't want to be. Well, oh, that, he, somebody that time. No, I was I was being me, but I thought it was me, but it wasn't. Somebody but you didn't know it then. Yeah, I'm always looking for myself back then. I was that's because that's all I know. Is that a sign of is that a sign of intelligence? Well, because most most kids in early age <laughs> searching for anything. You just no, I don't know. Well, I mean, I'm thinking like the way I think about it now, and I look back at it, I was always searching for something. I, at that time, I was just like, oh, these people are cool, but you wouldn't actually think like where is my i'm soul searching right now where do i go <laughs> yeah you wouldn't know how to define it yeah but if i look back at it yeah i'm i was like a wanderer wow yeah 
Yeah, well, I think we all go through an age of wondering and stuff like that, but your mom said she saved your life. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can see my son go down the hill. Yeah. So I had put up with three boys. It's not easy. Yeah, things got pretty bad. <laughs> I know it's not easy. Now, you brought him back here how long ago? Back to, 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 no, excuse me. I should say brought him back. You brought him back. You brought him here from the U.S. here because he was being a naughty boy. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, but he's not good. She says that now, but before she said, yeah, um, I brought him here because he's good, which is called sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> so did you have a meeting and said, do you want to come back? Do you want to go to Taiwan with me? Was it like a conference, a meeting? How did you oh. bring him back here? How did, no, how did you bring him to, back to your home? How did that, how did that story See, go? I had a friend, it's a charity work too. He's, charity work, huh? Yeah. He's good, mm -hmm. and I join with them. Mm -hmm. They call Chu Ji work. Chu Ji, so from uh, from Chu Ji. From, yeah, mm -hmm. Oh, from 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 from, from San Francisco. Yeah, put our organization. Right. So you met him there. Yeah. And they say. He said, "I see you, son. Hmm. Look like he's in trouble." Ooh. So I said, "You don't want your son become the bad boy." So. You were thinking something good because I hear your brother's really good. Mm -hmm. And I asked my brother, can my son stay with you? He said, okay, if you do bad, I'm not spanking him. Ooh, and how old was he then? 21. Oh, my God, spanking 21 years old. That was a scary uncle. That was a scary uncle when I was younger. And I, I, I told him, said, can you watch him? He said, yeah. If you're not afraid that your son get beat up, just bring him here. Well, he just... Just told you the straight <coughs> truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. That's a scary uncle. Yeah. <clears throat> but you know, yeah, I'm kind of like a scary uncle too. But but isn't that just straight? You know, you're not afraid of him getting beaten up. Wow, that's. He was. So him what happened? You you go out drinking. Uh oh. He's, here he comes. <laughs> well, um. You uh, speak to yourself. Well, okay. So I used to be an auto mechanic, right? And I worked every day during that time. And um, sometimes on the weekends, like Saturday. Like once a week, I would after work, I would be drinking. Well, hold on, I'm, I'm confused. But this is here. Oh, yeah. here in Taiwan. No, no, I, I want to. Before we get to here, though, I want to go back to how did she bring you here? Oh, how? Oh. Yeah, like from when, to leave the states and say, okay, come on, yes, yes, go to Taiwan. How did you manage to, to oh, get him over here? Because I told him, say, you know, nice school. Mm -hmm. You know, nice school. You know, think you're gonna make it. Your mind's it. not clear right now. I told him, <clears throat> it's okay. Mom, I'm gonna go home see uncle and grandpa. Okay, so, and how old was he then? 21. Okay, 21. And mom said, okay, you said, I'm going to go back, I'm going to Taiwan, just go and see, you know, my brother, your, your uncle. Right. Happy oh, times. Happy times, <laughs> and you're like, yeah, let's go and see the world. Yeah, <laughs> yeah see he my said, He said himself, yeah, I think I need to change your friend. Oh, okay. He, he said, said I okay, and he said it. I think yeah. I mean, okay. So I lied to him, said, okay. Oh, you lied to him? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you did lie. <laughs> go, go in the uh, go in the airplane, and I told him the truth. I said, "Baby, you come here. Mom wanted you to stay here." When you you told him on the airplane? That yes. no, no, it wasn't the airplane. You was it the airplane? airplane. Maybe, maybe I was half I'm, asleep or I'm, drinking. Okay. <laughs> I'm afraid he might take out. Uh huh. He, if I told him to leave him here, he gonna take out. So you told him on the airplane. Yeah. yeah I'm bringing Taiwan. I'm gonna leave you there. Yeah. yeah I said, you know what? Mom gonna go home, go to work. You don't need to go to school, you don't need to go do anything, just stay with uncle. When you feel like to come home, you just come home yourself. So you told him on the airplane, mm -hmm. I'm going to leave you. What? You should have waited until you landed in Taiwan. Then tell him. In the plane, you cannot go anything. He already in the plane. Plane already out. Maybe what? it was a hint. <laughs> like, 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 and I was just like, oh, I'm not listening to you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. He, he, he thinks it's a joke. Uh, oh, he thought it was a joke. Uh, well, yeah, it's a joke. That's right. It's a joke. Right. It's a joke. Yeah. So, so, the me uncle, who must sounds like a tough dude. Mm. But he cared for him a lot. Of course. He's just his, yeah, um, yeah, mouth. No, <clears throat> sometimes that's the way it is. And sometimes that's the only way some these me uncles know how to talk. Yeah. They, it's hard for them to say, hey, I'm going to care of this guy. I love this guy because I love you. You're my whatever. They, those words don't come out a lot of, especially yeah. Asian societies. Yeah, they, they don't say that. No, they don't say that. Right, you have to use a, 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 a secret decoder ring yeah. to decode that. Yeah, that's why I don't take uh, offense to things. Yeah! Like so your mom tricked you. Mm -hmm. 
when did you become really awoke on that, yep, I'm stuck here? And you, you became a mechanic. Yeah. You're stuck here. Oh. That's I why his think, Taiwanese is so good. Yeah. <laughs> um, when did I wake up? I think I woke up as soon as I... I don't even remember if I went down and see you leave. No, I was I getting think ready. I, no, 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 I seen you, but did I go down with you and watch you leave, or did I just no, stay in the room I and was like, pissed off? That's the word, pissed yeah, off. Yeah, I, I was afraid to say that. I told, I told him, I said, I gotta go back home. He told me he's gonna be one night, Mom. Only three weeks, you're gonna go home. Oh, three weeks. <laughs> yeah, I told him I gotta off. go back to work because I gotta open my shop. Uh huh. So I. Oh, you had a shop, Mister. Yeah, okay. Yeah, shop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. Then uh, he he got kind of mad. You told me to hold man. Now three weeks. What am I doing, Mom? I said, you stay here. You learn something. Do the right thing. <laughs> do things right. <laughs> do the right thing. Do things right. <laughs> <laughs> so you told me could stay here, and 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 the uncle's like in the side. Like, <sighs> what was he? What was he? He was like. Hmm. Yeah, I see them. Yeah, I see them, and then he yeah, just looked at me. <laughs> I didn't know the language. That's the that's the thing. Yeah, he just looked at me. And I was like, okay, well, well, like just like this. Like, that's sign language. <laughs> that's sign language, man. Yeah. That's sign language. He yeah. didn't know any Chinese law. Uh, he didn't know man. No. No, 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 or Taiwanese. No. Yeah. He didn't know so how. It, it was hard. Yeah. Okay, how did you learn the the local language and culture, dude? Mm. Lots of yelling, lots of throwing, lots of oh. uh, like, like you know, like throwing tools or something like that. Oh, like it, yeah, it was lots of peachy, like uh -huh. anger, anger. Yeah, yeah. And then I would be like, why is this guy like so mad? Like I don't even understand half <laughs> anything he's talking about. Like what is that's probably good you didn't understand. Yeah, you would have been more upset if you understood what he was saying. And then it was like a lot of like this stuff, like fingers and hey, stuff bro. like this. Sign language. That's it. Universal <laughs> sign language. <laughs> And then one day, I think after a month or two, he, my old boss, he thought of something. He was like, oh, yeah. And then he went inside and got a book. Uh, and then he, he got it, right? It was, a, it was a, a book. It was a green book, right? And then it was dusty. So he went like this. And then like, I was like, man, it's like so dusty. And he was like, yeah, it's OK. He, he was just like this, right? But you didn't speak Mandarin at no, that time. He was like this, right? Hey, he blew it. He blew it. And then and I was like, man, I was like this. And then he was just like. Blowing the dust. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, anyways, that book was Chinese English book. What kind of grammar did you learn from those books? <laughs> because, like, I, I was learning. Um, I went to a uh, mechanic, uh, auto mechanic school. That's that's why I decided to decide to choose fixing cars. Oh, yeah. And my oh. uncle said he had a friend, so we went over. The first one. Well, the school was where? In San Diego. Also, oh, you just. Looked at the Chinese, and you can just apply. It was your... English. Oh, it was in English. English Chinese. Sorry, sorry. Right. So, would you 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 actually took what you learned already knew from your English, your mother language. I, mm -hmm. I guess I can call it that, mm -hmm. and use the book to like supplement and stuff like that. Wow, that mm -hmm. makes you quite unique, dude. Yeah, and then they kept saying like the same thing it was like over and over, and then just like, and then they would like show me or like uh -huh. they, would, they would teach me. It's like, like baby steps, basically. Yeah. Like Being yelled steps. at baby steps. Yeah. He's a good boss. Yeah. Treat him like a nephew. Yeah. You had to work every day before. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you told me you have to work every day. Seven days a week. Every day. Hmm. So, when did you get to the point, and that was how many years ago, Susie, before you? No, me? Oh, oh how many was... years ago? 16, right? What, fixing cars? Yeah. Oh, but, yeah, when you. Oh, when, when you I got, came to Taiwan? Well, okay, when I came to Taiwan, that was 16, over 16 years ago, so mm -hmm. 16 and 8 months now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's counting the days. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I used to do this. Okay, one, oh. put a pencil on the walls, and then I would say, okay, then cross it out. That's this is going to be a movie. Okay. Yeah, it was crazy. You know, it's like, uh, you know, Midnight Express. Okay, but, <laughs> <laughs> but when, did the, when did things click where you found you were able to be more communicative, you know, and speak... Because in, here in southern Taiwan, Taiwanese is the language. Yeah. You know, when, when did you become fluent enough to, you know, to be, to understand when they yelled at you what it meant mm -hmm. and learn how to express yourself? How long did that take? 
I'm not too sure, but I do remember one incident where ever since that happened, then things started getting a little easier, just clicked. Um, okay, I, it's a short story. Okay, so uh, usually when I'm, when I'm over there, because I didn't know the language, right? I was just either standing outside or squatting, right? And just looking like that, just daydreaming. And you can do the squat? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. You can squat, Yeah. Oh, squat, yeah. <laughs> it's your DNA because I'm still trying to get that squat right. Yeah, but go ahead. Yeah, so it was I was daydreaming, right? So it's the auto shop here, and then next door is a breakfast place. They sell uh, vegetarian breakfast. So anyways, um, there was like a long line, right? It got to the middle of the shop. So I was just staring, and it, it just happened to be there was a guy there with his grandson or nephew or something like that. I don't know. He's kind of old. But um, yeah, and then I didn't pay attention to him, but he thought I was staring at him. Uh-huh. And then he just came up to me and he just started saying something like yelling. And I was like, in Taiwanese. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, I was like this, mm -hmm. right? I, I don't know. Right. And then he, yeah, he started yelling this and that, this and that. So he went, he put down his nephew and then he went to his bike. He grabbed his helmet and, and then just started yelling again. And then he smacked, smacked me in the head with it. And I woke you up. <laughs> yeah, that's, thing, yeah. that's when things started clicking. I don't know why. You better thank that man. Thank you for hitting the side of the head. But as soon as that happened, then I went inside, right? Because I was shocked because like I didn't want to do anything either because I don't know what's gonna happen if I do put hands on him. Mm -hmm. So that's why mm -hmm. I did it. So I just I just shook it off and just went inside. And then my boss was like like he was like saying like something like this. He was just like, Can I think I yeah, I think I understood that part. Like what like what happened? And I was like, oh, like some guy, right? Just like like hit me in the head. Right? And then that's when there was like about five people. So they were like, oh, okay. So then everybody stood up, everybody grabbed some things, they went outside, and the guy was gone. Oh, <laughs> A mystery guy. <laughs> yeah, they were like, what happened? Like, And then the, the boss lady said, yeah, I seen it. That was really mean. And then they were saying, why did you call us? Uh -huh. Why did you say something? We were busy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what woke me up. Yeah. I, I wasn't staring at him. I was literally daydreaming. So why does that stick out with you so much then? And you you see that's a turning point or something somewhere? Yeah, because ever since then, that's when things started clicking. So he, somebody, he took somebody to knock you upside your head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a pretty, yeah, it was pretty hard actually. Yeah, that was, yeah, and also that was he weird. got language good. But it took yeah. me oh, a year to start like, like bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. But Three years, that's when it's like, yeah, I'm I'm pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Three you, years, didn't, yeah. you, didn't, you didn't have to go to school for it. No, no. no. You know, but you, you did go to school for it in some way. Yeah, eventually. Eventually, because this is the real life situation. And also, I think it's because um, the boss knew I didn't have no family or friends and stuff like that. Just my cousins, right? Um, mm -hmm. my, my other cousin used to be his trainee, too. Mm -hmm. So uh, those are the only people I knew, but... Everywhere he went with his family, I was basically part of the family. He would bring me everywhere. This is better than homestead. He yeah, homestead. he would bring me everywhere. Like trips, eat, like, you know, dad, mom. Yeah. I'm jealous. I'm sure you put it like you do. And then after a while, like after I left, it just, just things changed. It's not the same anymore. Okay. Yeah, it's not the same. I don't, I don't no, I'm not. I'm just saying, I, I thank him though. I hey, you, 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 those, those, these things that in your life. They don't have them too much. You just, you really, it's hard to explain. And you, ne you never would have met these people if you didn't lock them here in, tai in Taiwan. Yeah. yeah. And they treated him as like a family. Yeah, no. Some people can't say that L word. Mm -hmm. Or they can't have a hard time. But. I just hope they know that you appreciate them because yeah, but like um, I mean, I do still have some issues, but I don't want to talk about issues with him. I mean, I have issues with him, but mm -hmm. I don't want yeah. to talk why. Yeah, of course, but Understood. um, I no matter what we went through, I still see him sometimes, and I say thank you because he taught me a lot. He taught me a lot, really a lot. And, I wouldn't be who I am right now and, if it wasn't for him. And this is priceless. Mm -hmm. This is priceless. See, everywhere he go, everywhere I go, I always meet a good friend. Mm -hmm. I'm a yeah. kind, good person. But you're tough, though. I, I'm tough to stay yeah. with my husband. <laughs> Why do you say that? <laughs> He's a tough man to live with. He's a tough man to live with? Yeah, 51 years that he finally take off. Tough man to live with. 
But he's, he got good heart. He wasn't expressive. <laughs> well, that's what, that's what happens with these tough uncles. They're mm-hmm. tough on the outside, but inside, it's hard to get through. Yeah. What attracted you to his father? What, 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 what I mean, what was that good magic? Looking. Okay, good looking. I'll just, it, yeah, it okay. was a suit, right? It was a suit. No, no, <laughs> the yeah, Navy suit. A, oh, really? Navy but suit. He, long time ago. <laughs> it was that uniform. Right, the uniform. No, no, no. Long time ago, black people in Taiwan, mm-hmm. it wear the color flower, bright, bright color, all, all greasy hair. I look at them and they're, oh, nasty. Uh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. And then the hair, all grease and Oh, that, that was the Afro days, right? Yeah. Okay. And the sand, Black power. I cut their hair. Oh, I you didn't understand that. <laughs> yeah. I understand. I said, no, I don't want to go out of there. Mm-hmm. Finally, this guy come, eh? He's nice. He got big hair. Mm-hmm. Now, you say, what do you call those? Afro? Yeah. Afro. Uh-huh. And he always kept himself neat. Before, a long time ago, they had cartoon. Like a, oh. Like a good cartoon. Oh. He was just like one of those guys. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't know, there's a lot of those old cartoons oh. that are not very nice to show yeah. black people, you know. Yeah. yeah. Hey, a big old eye like that long one. Mm-hmm. And I said, oh, my husband looked like that one, but he's better looking at that cartoon. Oh, oh my mm-hmm. goodness. How did your other girlfriends think about you being with a African-American mm-hmm. black guy? Did they give you much pressure? Like, No, I don't have too many friends. That time I was young, just by myself. Mm-hmm. I kind of with people here, right? The people working together, mm-hmm. they're not too friendly. Yeah. Is they competitors? Yeah. You mean not too friendly, like they don't talk maybe much? They, or? Maybe they're competing with each other in some way. Because, no, you know, women all... compete, but they don't. Oh, yeah, they it's a different kind of competition. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I, I do better than you. Oh, I got boyfriend, you know, engaged, blah, blah, blah. blah it's like always that. a competition. So said, yeah. <laughs> but I'm not like that. I <laughs> I'm going to say something, and it's kind of hard because, you know, a lot of, you know, people, especially at that time, Mm -hmm. they see an attractive uh, young lady talking to a foreign guy. You know, and and a lot of the foreign guys, military, they weren't angels themselves. No. Mm -hmm. Just, 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 Just be, they're not angels themselves. Some of them were here, and because of their military privilege, were doing things they should not be doing. And this is, you know, this is straight up. Now, there's this maybe competition and stuff like that, and, and, you know, between the, the girls and the ladies. And they say, oh, you're just being with that man because you want him to take you overseas. Did you have to deal with people like that, talking like yeah, that? Yeah, they talk something nasty too. But I... Uh... PG thirteen is this PG thirteen? Oh, <laughs> this is this is keep it under R a little bit because no, it's the, it's the honest truth. Yeah, I told the truth because I don't want to say it because yeah, I know we it's true. That when these men see me with a black guy, they say something else. So I say, oh no. Yeah, that that. So that, that. I always walk in front of my husband. My husband walk behind me because he all the time he go and hold my hand. I say. Mm-hmm. Kind of embarrassing. I was, yeah, I'm just, yeah. I was only 17 and a half, not even 18. Mm-hmm. And I married him 18 years old. After I married him, I, I don't care no more. They talk, they talk, talk. Just let them talk. Let them talk. I just keep walking. I had a lot of pressure like that. Yeah, mean, back then mean was... people. So you were stubborn, right? <clears throat> yeah. Sometimes being stubborn is not a bad thing. Yeah. Uh, I want to say seven. something, but no. Okay, don't say. You don't want to get kicked in your This is your mother. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Where did you get your strength from? I mean, you say okay, coming from a poor, a poor family, but I mean, your, your your dad disowned you. What did your mom say? Did she like say same don't... thing? But did she did she have to say that because to save face? My mother said. Oh, if she want to marry, let him marry because what are you going to do? She, she don't want to come home and run around out there if you get killed, you don't even know. At least somebody will take care of her. So you should be grateful for that. Then my father signed the paper and said, okay, oh. before I'm not 21, I cannot get married myself. Mm-hmm. You got to sign the paper. Mm-hmm. I got to go to Thailand courthouse. Yeah. yeah. That's, I, I think even it was even lower than that, like 14. I think it used to be 14, man. You know, mm-hmm. it was, yeah. No, what? 18 years old. You can get married. Oh, 16. Yeah, I think, I think some places. Yeah. yeah, that's true. But I was 18 years old. They said, no, you cannot get married until your parents sign. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. But I'm glad I married. I think what happened, I believe Buddhists. Do you believe you're Buddhist? Yeah, because okay. they say who you're going to be with it, mm-hmm. is there something to do with a past life. 
Mm -hmm. I don't even know that guy. How can I you know, marry him? I only know him for four months. A black guy too. And yeah. a black guy too. <sighs> and he go to my house, my grandma say, How come also, I... sir? Hey, mang mang. Hey, mang mang. You can't see the achievement. But my husband's not that bright. You see the picture there, he's pretty like color. He's like oh. coffee. Huh? He's like coffee. Maybe wow. the color, baby. He's like probably like this. Yeah. No, 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 no. He's a little bit, little bit more. Be yeah. kind of sun. Yeah. How did he handle this type of pressure? Did did he understand like you know? He don't know any in the language. Oh, he was. So that was probably a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Ignorance sometimes can be. Yeah. Pretty good sometimes. And tell you the truth, he was used to all that because like he was from he's from the south. Last that's, that's oh, of course in okay. the south. Yeah. Yeah. So back yeah, in those days, yeah, you know, you know, African American similar. situation in the people south, him black. coming out of Jim Crow, you yeah. used to people calling him the the N word. And in the you military know. too, he told me some story. That's why he didn't want me to join the military. Right. And yes. So that, that gives you a kind of a hard exterior when people, you're used to people calling you this name and to you it's just another Thursday. Mm. Yeah, 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 he's like, hey, it's just another Thursday. You call him that, how dare you do that? Yeah. Oh my goodness. You always have made me amazing. Go back where you come from. But we feel bad, man. Like, yeah, oh, that makes me happy. Right. I, nobody want to say that. I don't want to say that, tough but guy. he was so mad, you know, he said... All he said was, do you, do you, you don't think I heard that before? Yeah, it's another Thursday. Wait, what? <laughs> it's another Thursday. <laughs> yeah, well, isn't yeah. that interesting? Because, you know, if you say, you know, I think, what is the term? It, it, this type of name calling stuff like that, yeah, it happens in different cultures. And sometimes it can be detrimental to a person's mental well-being but also sociologically you know people now want you to use different pronouns for them but oh, yeah. let's just leave that alone mm. but it does build an armor around you mm. it makes you stronger yeah you know i'm really amazed at your english though you didn't go to no special english school you just learned the way it is yeah i How? watch tv that was a t what channel did you watch in, in the states yeah what did you watch all my children oh my <laughs> oh no <laughs> That's not real. <laughs> That's not for my community. I know. I watched it for almost four years. I said, this show never ended. I forget. I don't want to watch it. Yeah, yeah, right, right. But it's not <laughs> it's show anything from where I come from. Because yeah. we have all my children. That has a whole different meaning from oh. all my children in the ghetto. Mm. Yeah, but, but, but she's I new, so. The language, <laughs> what they say. Mm -hmm. So that's how I learned. And also, my husband come home. He will talk to me in English. He said, you better go to school. What uh -huh. happened if I die? Uh -huh. And you got three kids, uh -huh. and you, you don't depend on me. So he right. gave, he gave me a tough life. So I, I I'm glad he did, did that. Did you go to school? Yeah, did I did. You? Where? Which? In San Francisco, Sweetwater High School. So, uh -huh, Sweetwater, three water. Sweet, Sweetwater in San Francisco or San Diego? No, San Diego. Oh, San Diego. Oh. San Francisco. I go to Chinese community. Mm -hmm. Oh. So I learned twice, but I can. Really pretty good, but writing sometimes I have a hard time spare. Just like his Chinese, his Chinese writing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And why is that? Because no, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I don't wait. I want to school. I leave my kid at home. You see, now this she's you know she 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 said she didn't really enjoy school back in her day. And he had that problem in the city. That's, that's what I was asking. This is the DNA thing. What is that? What is that? What is that? I, you know, that kind of like crossed over. You know, yeah. that's yeah. that DNA. Yeah, I think so. You think so? <laughs> you think so? You know, I, I'm sitting next to you and um, you're writing some things in a book in, 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 in Mandarin Chinese. Some stuff that you read from uh, the Buddhist, Buddhist scriptures? Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I, and, I just copied a good one. The meaningful things. For him, someday when I'm not around. Okay, this is what, because I asked you, I mean, what are you writing? And, mm -hmm. you know, you showed me the Mandarin and, and I, you know, I read it and I could read the characters. I know what they mean, but I have to read it again. So you understand. So I understand when you put the words together, oh. what they mean. Mm. So you're writing in this for him. Yeah, and, and oh my kid. For they can know what, what, what it's about. Like, like is. You better digitize it. Yeah. But uh, wow. Yeah, because I've been there, the training, and I see all kind of people. Okay, then I want to same way for my kid. Someday they will read it, so they can be a better person. I don't want them to go through like I go through. Mm -hmm. 
That's why one day I don't want you, what you guys are doing to, to be put in vain. So I want to put a project there one day. Oh, if you some somebody you don't understand, you can ask people from Taiwan. You oh, can he can it. learn it. Oh, he can learn it. That's that's that will motivate you to get to get that. You you know, when I put my mom write these, how come I don't understand? Yeah, because eventually well, they, I'm not learning how to read it. Eventually they're gonna say, you, 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 "What do you want? I'm busy, right? Everybody's busy, 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 busy." And then you really want to know, what are you gonna do? You have to get off your butt and learn it. Yeah, yeah. that's all, all I want because I'm come this light here before my children because mm -hmm. I. I I bring him here, right. so I'm an expensive person. The kid take care of them, not spoil them. Everybody spoil the kid, but I spoil them different way. Oh, I spoil them a different yeah. way. I care for them, but they are, sometimes they think of me. That's normal. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's normal. Yeah. Why you want to say something about that, right? No, like okay. the tub. I care for it. No, some. Oh. I don't know. I just got confusing. I said I care for all my kids. Yeah, for different ways. Oh, different oh way. I understand that part. Why? Okay. Because other people, they they treat their kids different, right? Yeah. Than you do. Yeah. That's what you mean by different. Okay, I understand. No matter how bad they are, oh, it's still my son. And I they try, try telling they, her how. Yeah. Right. Try to put up with them to whatever my job end. That's that's it. When your but, job ends. When I'm still alive, I want to do the best I can be the good mom. Wow. It's not easy. Yeah. It's not supposed to be easy, I guess. So, but I did it. I did good. But. They turned out good too. But along the way, it's a little bit of fun, right? No. <laughs> Don't, no. Yeah, good time. Don't you? <laughs> oh, come on. You probably did a lot of, you know, things that makes them, look how, you know, think about it. Yeah, this, is your, this is your method. Yeah, but they always. Some of pepper, you're your pepper. Pepper. You're pepper. Everyone different. I like the way I do for my kid, but they, they're not grateful right now when I'm alive. But when I'm gone, they're going to think. No, they're grateful. Oh, they're grateful, but too late. That's I, what that's I, I tell them. I, not to be me to people. Anybody is like a family. In this so. Uh, so how each other. Yeah, so it's a change. Change? All right. Yeah. Anyway, we live in the earth, right? So it should be family, not kill each other. Oh, he got more. I don't have these. I killed. I killed him. I still remember stuff since I was like three. <laughs> Good memory. Uh, oh, he got a lot of story too. Yeah, I still remember a lot you of stuff. Write a, you can write a book. Uh, yeah, but because <laughs> this is too, because stories like this, you usually, you know, you hear stories about these people who are mixed heritage and people who, especially. Like Davy, dad's African American, mom Asian. You don't hear a lot of those stories. You hear all these Eileen Gu stories and how they yeah. treat and how the society accept them. They, like the Asian society accept them. It's, it's like black communities. We almost accept everybody. But yeah, and then also if you want to really think about it, like um, they do have stories, but it's a different skin intonation. Right. And this skin come out top. No, no, no. No. Yeah. Somebody skin. The, the, no, it's different skin. Yeah. Yeah. Even Taiwan, they have that too. Huh? Yeah, yeah of course. Uh, yes. Yes. Prejudice. No, but, but what's this? Not prejudice. No, I'm talking about um, welcome, welcome. the um because like people like me would mix, right? We're not afraid to go talk. We're you know we will talk, mm -hmm. but there isn't a there isn't enough of us. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, and okay. the skin color is different. Mm -hmm. Right. But, uh, I, I just don't want to say it. Okay. Well, yeah. I'll say it for you. Usually, you see situations where. A local Asian person, say a Taiwanese person, and have a relationship with a, uh, a white person. Yes. You hear yes, stories yes, about yes. saying, "Oh, your baby's going to be so cute." Yeah. And stuff like that. That's what I meant. Right. <clears throat> I said, <laughs> okay, and um, I said <laughs> because it's the truth. You're right. We are the same, good and bad. Yeah. Mm. And so just like I say, in the earth, it's all family. Yeah. Well, we are nothing but earth. Yeah. What's in us? Helium or uh, 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 carbon, it's part of the universe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we all are like that. I mean, this sounds like some uh, uh, um, utopia, mm. uh. you know? And this is something that may not be, you know, bring you all this money, but it should bring something to you that you can take with you to the end. I like my end too. Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> no, like when I start, it's her life, and the end, I mean, end up okay. 
It was a because good brother. Because my husband takes care of my children and my kids. Mm hmm But he gave you a, a hard time. He gave me a hard time, but I had to deal with it. And you learned a lot? I learned a lot from him. Without him, I won't do them on myself. I always, hey, can you do this for me? David, do this for me. I want to do them myself. There's a new word for girls over here now. Yeah, like, like a boss you around. Princess. We call them princesses out here now. I got another word for them. I'm not going to say this. Wow, you, you know a lot of... I know not a big word. How come I should do this? The kid. All boys. Oh, like oh. All boys. Yeah. I got three boys. Remember that. <laughs> yeah, all kind of girls come around. They all kinds of words coming out. They just say it. In front of mom. All kinds of words coming out. God, your guys, man. <laughs> But but she's I'm, like open, I'm, I'm an open minded. Yeah. <laughs> I can say anything. I can. You told me that, I told him back to you. But my husband, he never said any bad words. Yeah, word. he's different. <laughs> he never said one word bad to me. He just wow. oh, What the hell are you doing? I said, oh, that's normal. <laughs> that's what he said. The rest of them, the F word, he don't say. Mm. And if I say that, I didn't tell you that. I said, oh. I didn't from the boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he never looked for us, though. He didn't but say that to He us. just always said mean thing to me, so I had to say F to him one time. And he was shot. And he was shot. And he said, S, where did you learn that word from? <laughs> <laughs> he said that, and he said, only uneducated people say that. Oh! It's like, Whoa. Yeah, he always said, yeah. Uh, something like but that. But I don't have no school. My husband, he, he so said, like, yeah. He said, yeah, I don't even to fifth grade. <laughs> he didn't grab one of the My husband got a, what do you call it? Uh, that degree. No, well, he didn't finish his thesis, but yeah, he didn't finish the courses. The, the he just got tired. Yeah, well, it's really interesting sometimes when you start learning things, you find out that what you're learning can be a little bit yeah. convoluted. Oh, yeah. oh, I, I think he's up there, that's what I say about him. <laughs> really? He's probably listening. Oh, he's probably listening. Yeah. I say me thing, but I still love him. Of course. Yeah. It's, the, it's that, it's how we choose to express ourselves, and some of us do it in the tough way, like your uncles? Mm. Yeah. My husband wants me to be better, but he don't want to say it. He should always say, you stupid. I said, guess what? I'm stupid, you more stupid than me. <laughs> and then he said, why? You know I'm stupid, you married me, so you worse than me. <laughs> slap, slap. <laughs> That's called putting your foot in your mouth. Yeah. He wouldn't laugh at me. He didn't say nothing, right? He just, then he spit to know. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah. you know, this you know, this could be part two or part three, but you know, this there's so much. The movie is yeah. so long for fifty one years. I can tell you one step by step, but they're too much. I'm getting thirsty. No, we'll do that. We'll yeah. do that. Hopefully, we we'll do it in another. Yeah. 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 I don't think too many people know about how people marriage life is. Mm -hmm. And the married life is not just love and short time. Marry love for a long time till you leave. But people today, the, the, they mm -hmm. don't do the that. between love and hate. Yeah, they marry today, tomorrow they say, oh, I'm gonna divorce you, that's it. A lot of people marry because of the wrong reasons. Mm -hmm. Or because I have to do because everybody else is doing it, or because of Financial reasons or status. Yeah. Yeah, my marriage is innocent marriage. This innocent marriage. Yeah. And to the end, I had a hard time with him. <laughs> you stuck with it though. You stuck with it. I stick yeah. with it. But I don't give up. Yeah. Because you're stubborn. Yeah. <laughs> I think I got like, yeah, she, yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid I may say something. She went help pat <laughs> back out. Yeah, I'm just, I want to, but no, I don't want to. Yeah. No, no, no. You're you're a son. <laughs> Davy she there, okay? And then we were talking something, my right? Davy was such and my hands was oh Parents. Really? Yeah. Well, sometimes she goes like this and I'm like... Yeah, I'm going to do the same thing. Stuff. And no matter how old you are, if your mother make that move, you be like... <laughs> you be like... What are you doing? What are you doing? Like, <laughs> it's like, That's like, this reflex. My son Michael, he don't want to stay and be silent. He's like, oh, and you're say Kate, whatever. Okay, Tyler. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's I'm always driving. Yeah. <laughs> so he's like... <laughs> I'm driving. Mom, don't hit me. Yeah. He saw my hand coming, so he... he yeah, yeah, it's reflex. <laughs> yeah. That's in our black jeans, too, because, you know, we get the shoes sometimes, the shoes. Uh, yeah, like uh -huh. some people see black people and say, ooh, why you marry black? 
Don't you know how to pick the guy? Mm -hmm. I said, well, somebody sent him for me. That's my angel. <laughs> I think he's the one Maybe. supposed to come take care of me. Look at the way he went out. Yeah, and he could go out sleeping. Smiling. He didn't say anything. He He's just, at peace. Yeah. He was at peace. And he not even say or anything like that. Oh, he complained here, her, and then her. I said, that's old age. But not in the hospital, so he's pretty yeah. good. Holding the pain. Well, at least it was, he, he knows that he, you, your son's in good hands. Yeah. I he, think he had a feeling, but. He feeling, I can feel something's not Of course, right. of course you can feel it. Yeah. Of course. Because he keeps going it. back and forth, then you run. I said, what are you looking for? Uh, nothing. Yeah, he wouldn't be doing that. He, he passed away here in time. Yeah, and he, he write a, like a notebook about I do. He write a notebook, nobody had read it. Who gonna read your notebook? Oh, he was writing it. Yeah, and then he ended up writing write some notebooks. I wish I know what I know now. I could have treated my wife better. He wrote oh, his own. he wrote if I if I knew what I knew. Before. If I, right, if I knew what I, what I know now treat, before, treat, I would have treated my wife better. Yeah. Maybe not though. Who knows? Yeah. Maybe that was just the best way. He don't know how to say it, but he write it out. I found it hidden too. He was writing it. it was, yeah, I didn't read it yet, but it was. I read part of it. It was like, yeah. Was Michael, touch, Michael, touch. Michael right? Yeah. I said, why you didn't tell me? Were you alive? So you care for me? I do it. I could have treated you better. And so when you die, you write that, and it's already too late. I treat him good too. Yeah, just we don't get along. That's yes. really interesting. People yeah. don't get along. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting along. I think I know what that's called. Um, Please well, tell me. Some people might think it might. Okay. It's a great line. It might be wrong. It might be right. I don't know, but that's called marriage. <laughs> <laughs> that's called marriage. Oh, you gotta that, work on it. Doesn't that call it? Either? You in I don't know. Oh, how to say that. yeah, in yeah. 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 My in hun not in yet. That's why he's still around. In hun finished, he gone, and he said. You think I'm gonna die before you? Don't forget, you probably die before me. She said, I die before him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I said, whatever, you, you think like that. Moving right along. Yeah. So when you talk to him, I just walk away. That way, in and out of argue. Yeah, you don't want to sit there. That's not the good way to leave. Yeah. You know, nobody wants to leave in an argument. No. Yeah. So, you know, guys, you know, I really appreciate you giving me the time because, you know, this is endless. I mean, you know, this, like I said, it could be a good movie, man. Yes. You know, I don't know if Dan, Denzel Washington is free to, 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 to do oh, your part. No, that's, that's the person I was thinking about was Denzel, Denzel Washington. <laughs> <laughs> Not Will Smith? No, somebody else. No. Said, I was like, no, man, no. come on. You'll see. Oh, my husband, look like you got Denzel to Washington. Yeah. yeah, it'll be Denzel Washington yeah. and, and um, maybe who will be the younger you? I'll think about that later. Yeah. Well, look. You know, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here, and I really appreciate they really allow me to come down here to this part of Tainan here in um, Xin and to talk to his mom. She's tough. Uh, to give us a little insight from a different corner or type of that you guys probably never heard of or seen before. And, um, you know, there may be a part two or three to this. Thank you very much for joining us here at Four Seas One Family. And uh, Susie, mm. before we go, what do you want to say to have to give these people something to remember? Yeah, marriage is supposed to be patient for each other, not to fight and take off. That's not good. I put up with my husband 51 lousy year, but I cannot stick with it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us here at Four Seas One Family. Peace. Bye.